Hey guys, it's Cal Penn. We got off Air Force One and uh, now we're in a rickshaw here in Delhi. A lot of you might be wondering why President Obama is in India in the first place and what that's all about. So let's dig into it. This trip is a trip of firsts, not President Obama's first trip to India. He actually did that back in 2010. But with this visit, President Obama becomes the first sitting U.S. president to visit India twice during his time in office. Why the second visit? Well, last September, Prime Minister Modi met with President Obama in Washington, D.C. on one of his earliest trips in office. They hit it off, and following that trip, he took the unprecedented step of inviting the president to be the chief guest at India's Republic Day celebrations. So here's another first. This visit will mark the first time a U.S. president will have the honor of attending Republic Day, which commemorates the adoption of India's constitution. But this is much more than just a symbolic visit. This is actually an opportunity for the world's largest democracy, India, and the world's oldest democracy, America, to engage further on some major issues affecting both nations. And who doesn't love democracy? Well, I can think of some people who don't love democracy, but we're not talking about those people today. So during the visit, get ready for this, we've seen a series of bilateral meetings and high-level dialogues advancing U.S.-India economic ties and civil nuclear understandings and the pursuit of increased cooperation.